The Netherlands have been living with water for centuries. The Dutch even reclaimed large parts of land from the sea by creating polders. In fact, 26% of the country is below sea level. Windmills were used to drain these polders. Later on, windmills were replaced by pumping stations driven by steam engines. And finally, those were replaced by diesel and electrical engines. In the Netherlands, water boards are responsible for these pumping stations. These water boards are also responsible for water quantity and water quality. For centuries, the Dutch water boards have managed to do this very well. But by now, some of the older pumping stations require a replacement. Although replacing pumping stations is nothing new for the water boards, over the years, this redesigned task has become a more complex challenge. Many design choices have to be made, choosing between different available pumps, motors and controls. Moreover, there are several new innovations to possibly implement. For instance, aquifer thermal energy storage, which delivers heating or cooling to customers nearby. Another innovation are decision support systems that help operators to determine an optimal pumping strategy. The main inputs for a pumping station are energy supply and water levels. It is uncertain how these inputs will develop in the future as they are influenced by a changing energy market, climate change, land subsidence and a water system that is subject to change. The performance of the design can be expressed by different performance indicators. Thus, there are multiple objectives for which the design should be optimized. These performance indicators are water quality and ecology, water quantity and water safety, energy use and maintenance and operational costs. Traditional design methods start with determining the most likely future scenario. Next design choices are made based on that specific scenario. A lot of effort is put into reducing uncertainty on the input parameters to optimize the design. In fact, the real future will never match the scenario that was predicted. The designed pumping station is then no longer optimal for the current scenario and can even show unpredicted and undesired behavior. There is a need for a new design method that generates a design that is more robust for different future scenarios. A promising new method to tackle such complex redesign challenges is multi-objective robust simulation optimization. Robust optimization helps in specifying a certain combination of design choices that produces satisfactory results across a large ensemble of future scenarios. The model used for this optimization links numerous submodels that describe all relevant processes and possible future scenarios. By running numerous simulations with this model, a general conclusion on the behavior of a certain design in possible future scenarios can be drawn. Multi-objective optimization helps optimizing the design for the different performance indicators and providing insights to the trade-offs between them. This research is a first attempt to apply the robust optimization method to a civil engineering work. A case study will be performed for the redesign of a pumping station, serving as a proof of concept that will result in a robust pumping station design. <laughs>